everyone welcome back to my channel today is the september release for jmc design and we have these four really pretty girls to play with which is fun so this lovely lady is called arctic sparkle i really enjoyed playing with her then this one is called crystal snow and you can get the girls individually or as part of the collection as a whole. Then we have Frosted Ruby. She reminded me a little bit of um, Little Red Riding Hood. I loved colouring her in as well. And this one is called Iced Berry. She's so cute. And then if you buy the whole collection you get some sentiments as always you get this lovely um, set of trees a little mushroom tree I love this little snowflake so pretty it, it reminded me of fireworks like a Catherine wheel or something another snowflake this cute little bird it's so sweet and the snow woman I think it's a snow woman <laughs> in her little dress so cute and you get this house it's called the northern heights such a cool name and i have colored this into like a halloweeny um excuse me i had a little gem stuck to the back of that i had yeah i've colored this into a halloween house but obviously you can colour this to however you want. You could decorate the tree with Christmas ornaments. You can do whatever takes your fancy. And you get the sentiments, which are super fun. Um, does shivering count as exercise? Probably my favourite, followed by I walk around like everything is fine, but deep down inside my shoe, my sock is falling off. <laughs> <laughs> that one cracked me up. So I've used quite a lot of these in my projects today and I will show you how I've used them. Okay. So the sentiments and some of the accessories I have used to make some ATCs. And I loved making these. This was just like pure playtime for me. I really, really enjoyed it. So I've used alcohol inks and alcohol markers to create the backgrounds, although they have come out like watercolour. I guess my little nerdy thing was to see if I could make backgrounds out of alcohol markers or mediums that looked like watercolour. It was just something in my head that I wanted to do, so I did it. And the first one I tried was this one and it didn't quite come out how I wanted but I s used my pro markers in the background and I made like lines of squiggly colour in the background so you can see there's some different bands of colour in the background. Then I went over the top I dropped in some alcohol ink this colour. I also used blending solution, I used my rubbing alcohol and in a couple of spots I dabbed my blender pen just to give a really mottled watercolory effect and I think it came out quite nice in the end. Um, and then over the top with a white gel pen I doodled on all these little snowflakes which I was inspired to do by the little accessory on Julia's pack where she had doodled her funky um, snowflakes. So. Yeah, I, I just love the idea of that, so I doodled my own snowflakes on the background. And then on this one I used a cute little bird with his little night hat on. And if you can see the pearlized paint I used on the um, hat and his little eye, I actually had... <laughs> this is really funny. I actually had an accident with my perfect pearls. I accidentally opened it upside down. Why do they have the writing on the bottom of the pack? Because I thought that was the lid. <laughs> so when I opened it, it just dumped everywhere. So I scooped up as much as I could and got it back in the pot, but um, I really wanted to use up some of this 
pearl pigment that I just couldn't get off my mat so I turned it into watercolour and I tinted it with different markers, not alcohol markers, I used um, some glitter markers by Smirk I think but you could pot potentially use any water based medium you're just using it as a dye to tint the pearl so I used this one and then obviously it came out a lot lighter with the pearl medium in it just put that back okay so I that's how I create tinted the pearl medium to colour in the blue on the snowflake and on here and then to colour the background of the sentiments I use blending solution, a little bit of the leftover blue that was on my mat and then I just dabbed over the top and it came out a lighter colour and I just thought it blended it into the background and I don't know I just like it. I was quite proud of myself for making these so please please be kind. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then this one I did a dragging motion instead of pouncing so it came out with a uniform colour if that makes sense. So this one I pounced with the felt on the bottom of my um, blender, what are they called? They're not brushes, they're Tim Holtz ink blender things. And then this one I dragged it so you got a more uniform colour and I just doodled around it. And then this one I used the lovely snow lady and I did the same in the background and on here and then I just edged the uh, sentiment with and the card itself with a pro marker just to frame it and then I coloured her with the same pig, uh, perfect pearls. <laughs> Oh, it's feet today and then I just coloured her hat and her scarf in with pro markers and the berries I coloured in red pro marker because I couldn't find a red pen the right colour and then I just dabbed some pearl medium on top to kind of fake it that I had um, done it with pearl medium but it kind of worked and I was happy with that so they're my little ATCs if you want to know in anything in more detail, just let me know down below. I'm trying to keep the video short because I want to make sure that everyone's got time to watch the other ladies. So this one is Iced Berry and I did her in greens and really warm colours, which is funny considering her name is Ice. But um, I really like this and how it came out. I loved drawing her red hair in. So much fun with doing her hair. This lovely lady I coloured in like uh, Mrs Santa Claus just because I wanted to <laughs> and I loved colouring her, her little boots I just thought those were so fun and I gave her some stripy tights and brought in the green in the background I used a plain piece of paper on this side and I stamped with my um, embossing ink and went over it with perfect pearls this was a stamp from visible image and um, or visible is it visual image? Yeah, I think so. I always get that wrong. Anyway, um, yeah, it was the grungy snowflakes one and I used that in the background just to add a little bit of interest and I bought it in again on these poinsettias which was a first edition die and I just thought this was a really nice semi-traditional card but still fun and current if you know what I mean. Then I had uh, an idea to do some sort of Christmassy cards that went in traditional Christmas colours so one of my favourite colour combinations for Christmas is coral and gold I just think it stands out really lovely and it's something a bit unique but still looks quite elegant so I went with coral and gold and some yellows on this card and these are some Jingle Bell dies that I had in my stash that I just coloured I did a little bow um, I've gone around the edge with some washi tape in hindsight, I probably wouldn't have folded the washi tape around the edges. I would have just cut it flush just because it is peeling back up again, which is a bit annoying. Um, so yeah, if you want to use your washi tape as borders, I suggest you stick it down and then cut off the excess. You learn something new every time you make a card. So yeah, it was fun just to play and make mistakes, but it doesn't really matter, does it? This might be my favourite. I can't decide, 
but I do really like, I love the colours and I used the beautiful snowflake from the accessory pack and yes I was crazy and cut out all the little bits in between <laughs> and then I used the Merry and Bright dye from X-Cut as the sentiment and this was from the same first editions die set as the poinsettias and I just used them as mistletoe added some gems and I thought that framed um, her really well yeah I really enjoyed making this card and I left her with white hair because they thought it was really icy and fun so they're my project shares for this month's release and I hope you really enjoyed them. It'd be interesting to know what your favourite one was and why. And if you buy this collection, I would love it if you um, tag us on social media, either here on YouTube or on Instagram, so we can see what you've been making or come and join us in the Facebook group because um, it, it's just really fun to see what everybody else makes and it gives us ideas what to do with our stash as well. So please go along and check out the other ladies. Their channel links will be in the description box below. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. 50 awesome points to everybody who got this far in the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can find out when I release new videos. And there are a couple of videos here for your delectation if you so desire.